everybody, I'm Missy Matthews with Mark Bruner giving you an inside look here in Indy at the NFL Scouting Combine. Mark, we had a chance to talk to you last year, but this year you got us some pretty good access. We are actually right outside, right here is where the Steelers do their interviews with the players. So kind of take me through the process and we are in Lucas Oil Stadium, which is something different. It is different and they changed the location of, of the formal interviews and the informal interviews this year. Uh, last year and the years past, they've been in the Crown Plaza and this year they decided to move them to the stadium. Uh, so it looks like there's a little bit more room for the staff and for the players for the interviews and it, it also allows them to see where they're going to be working out in the incoming days as well. So I think it's a good, a good change. One of the other changes with the interviews, there used to be 60 of the formal, as you were saying, now there's only 45. So how does that kind of change the mindset of getting to know guys here at the Combine outside of what they're doing on the field? Well, I think they need to be a little more selective with who they choose, uh, make sure that all 45 count. Uh, it's my understanding that they ha have a little extra time, uh, five more minutes with each of those 45 uh, interviews. So that allows the staff to, to gain a little more knowledge and backdrop on some of the players that they, that they have in this room. And uh, I, I think it's great that there's a chance for the staff members to get, a, get the one-on-one -on -one time with the players that are participating. Mm -hmm. And now you've given them a little extra time, five more minutes, so they get even more time uh, to dive in to uh, find out what, what really, you know, the, how their family is and what makes that player, individual player tick. I know we talked about it last year, just that you've kind of you've you've experienced the combine in so many different facets. If you were going to tell somebody who was going through the combine this year, what's the best piece of advice you could give them? To be as honest and genuine as you can. Um, a lot of the times, the the staff and the teams will will know some of the answers to the questions that they ask you prior to asking them. So if you try to sk skirt around or be deceitful in any way, uh, they're going to know that. Um, but being yourself allows the, the, the teams that you're interacting with to, to get to know you and, and if they choose you in the draft, then they're gonna know what, what they get. Um, you know, being on the field, it's gonna be a total blur when those players are out there on the field and to relax and, and you know, do what they can to impress and, and, and show the, all 32 teams what they're capable of. All of the workouts this year in prime time, which is also something new to this combine. How does that affect your day, just in terms of what you're typically doing here in Indy? Well, it makes it longer for the staff members. They're going to have a session of interviews uh, in the first part of the day, uh, and then the workouts are going to start at 4 p.m. And they're going to go, uh, I believe, until 10 o'clock in the evening. So some of these uh, players are going to have some really, really long days. And getting used to that and getting and you know finding a way to adjust to that change is, is going to be a little trying and taxing on some of those players. But overall, though, the, they're going to want to compete and they're going to want to try to impress. So no matter what the schedule is, I know the, the players are going to do what they can to impress whenever they can. What, are there any changes that are taking place this year that you, you said to yourself, maybe like, okay, this really makes sense. This is helping us do a better job of scouting these guys. One of the things that uh, I think the committee does each year is they, they reevaluate how the combine is run. And Jeff Foster with, with the National Scouting Services and then and Kevin's on the camp, combine committee amongst many other uh, members of the NFL. And they, they always try to find a way to make things more efficient mm -hmm. for the teams and for the players. Not everybody's gonna like the change or changes that are made. Uh, but I, I think that there's some drills that have been changed this year that are really, I think, in the betterment of more football specific and football applicable drills uh, that they made some subtle changes to uh, for the teams to evaluate the players when they're on the field working out. All right, so the suite level that we're at right now, like I said, this is where the interviews will happen with the players, but this is also the same level where teams can watch the on-field drills. Yes. Do you sit up here? Do you sit in the stands? Where do you like to be? No, I, uh, my job, I have a role here during the workouts and I, I get a time the 20 as well while the players are running their 40-yard their, their dashes. So I'll be over there in the, in the seats to make sure I have a, a good view of, of the 20s or where that mark is. And then uh, there's another suite that is, is utilized by the staff members of the team where they mm -hmm. can watch the, the on-field workouts uh, in that suite. But I generally like to try to watch things from the seats. Occasionally I'll be up in, in the suite, but I'm more of a seat guy than a suite guy. All right, thanks again for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you.